stood in the background behind me is a very special O2 site, which broadcasts Spectrum we haven't seen the operator deploy before. Namely, the 2600 MHz unpaired Spectrum they acquired from EE towards the end of last year. Back in November 2020, only a few weeks away from a year ago, Ofcom allowed EE to trade their 25 MHz of unpaired 2600 MHz Spectrum to O2. And in the 11 and a bit months since, we've been eagerly watching and waiting to see it come live somewhere. So you can imagine my surprise and happiness when I accidentally discovered it today. O2 are broadcasting the 2600 MHz unpaired with a bandwidth of 15 MHz using EARFCN 38125. The reason for 15 MHz being that the upper and lower 5 MHz blocks are power restricted. In addition, the Spectrum is broadcast using SSP6 and performance is kind of what you'd expect from a 15 MHz unpaired carrier with SSP6, achieving around about 50 or 60 meg down, about 5 or 6 megabits per second up in the testing that I've done just travelling around this site. O2 do, however, have scope to use other structures to improve performance in future, though. O2 are using ERS4418 radios for the 2600 MHz TDD on this site. And in addition, this mast is quite a high capacity configuration due to the area it serves with 4G on band 1, band 3, band 8 even, and band 20, but most notably, not 2300 MHz band 40. And that's because O2 cannot use their 2300 MHz spectrum where I am currently, which is Northern Ireland. And that is actually why, in a sense, it wasn't too surprising that I would be the one to stumble across the 2600 MHz spectrum for the first time here in Northern Ireland. Thanks for watching this video about O2 2600 MHz. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope we'll get to see the spectrum deployed more widely, especially in Northern Ireland, because the additional capacity will be greatly appreciated.